Hello and welcome back to. Oh, let me just hold on a second. <laughs> welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. It's been a couple days since I played, um, but when I last left this, I left it on a kind of a weird cliffhanger. Um, I was trying to get into this stash, and it looks like the door is locked. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I don't know where the key is. I don't know where anything is. I don't know if maybe I'm supposed to blow this door open. Didn't really... It didn't occur to me to try that, honestly. Doesn't look like that's gonna work. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. But yeah, um... You know, it was a, it was a fairly tricky situation. There was a, quite a lot of mercenaries uh, holed up in this building, and I, I don't really know the extent of what I got myself into. But um, I did pretty much take everyone out. There's a, there's a couple people still potentially around here. Uh, my friends are dead again, by the way. Uh, you know, easy come, easy go when it comes to friends in the zone. There is one more uh, body over here, which I'm going to try and grab. I think that my... I, I think I'm not okay with encumbrance, so I might have to do a pause at some point. Um, let me see. Uh-oh. Okay, don't crash. Don't crash. Okay, what do, we, what do we got here? Anomaly map at Zaton. Seems good. Um, yeah, we're approaching the... Uh, upper limits of our of our um, encum uh, encumbrance or our weight it's a pretty pretty well repaired PP19 but pass for now um, we've got some more dead bodies here oh my god I'm pretty sure I already have a G3A3 um, but I don't I, I'm not sure about the VSS uh, it is it's not getting late. It's just dark out right now. I was like thinking, oh man, is it getting really late out? Um, my god, this is a lot of stuff. And this is going to be a lot of fumbling around um, with with inventory stuff. I probably should have done some inventory management before I started this episode, but here we are. Um, let's take some of the more important stuff. I like this armor insert. Look at that. Rupture resistance 21%, ballistic resistance plus 10%. That's a really nice bit of kit right there. In fact, all of this is really good. So I think I will probably end up taking a lot of this, and therefore I'll have to do a pause here as I fumble around with all of my stuff. We have a legitimate grenade. I don't know. can't remember the last time I've had one of those. Um, I don't really think I can be carrying... Um, gut well, I guess I'm carrying a lot of guns. I, I picked up this AUG. We have an, I have an AUG here. I have a soft spot for AUGs. Actually, we have two different AUGs. Um, I, I like AUGs and, you know, like, most of the time when I'm, uh, you know, given the option of you- Oh, God. Yeah. I, I think I'm in quite a lot of danger right now. Uh, I don't seem to have any more health kits. Oh, God. I, I As much as I want to sit here and try and figure out what, what I should pick up, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a pause. I'll pick up most things, and then I'm just going to kind of do a dine and dash. Um, it seems like this location, I mean, it is very spicy, but it's not spicy for the reasons I thought. Uh, it seems like the dead city... Okay, it's no longer raining. Really not a huge fan of when that happens, if I'm being honest. Uh, the dead city is not as dead as, uh, you know, the name would, would lead you to believe. Um, there's, in fact, a lot of people here very much alive. So, um, you know, dangerous. But uh, I, I really did come to expect that there would be, um, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a bit more mutiny, if I'm being honest. I'm going to go ahead and field strip all of this. I'm going to do a quick save. Um, this is, this is a lot of stuff to go through. And I mean, there's really good stuff here. There's ammo that I can actually use. There's, uh, kits and all kinds of stuff. Like, this is, this is all very good stuff. 
Um, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of it and I'm good for all of this. I mean, I could go through it and field strip it, but I don't really want to spend the time. Let's go back to this building. Actually, um, I think I need to go south. I thought maybe that was <laughs> a uh, route to the underground. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to go south. There's a stash south. Yeah, we're going the complete opposite direction. Which is very bad news because that's kind of the direction that those mercs came from. Um, let's drink some water. Like I said, it's been a couple of days since I played and I'm a little bit rusty. Um, but, you know, I think, I think we'll be okay. I do want to try and look at that stash and I, I do want to go through our inventory and maybe disassemble a few things. I, I kind of want to keep an AUG. Um, I have a couple of ideas about um, how I want to treat equipment in the future. A thought occurred to me and it kind of um, relates to weapon diversification. And I guess I can, I, now is as good a time as any, but basically, um, okay, there's our dude. I didn't check if that was a bad guy or not. I'm pretty sure it was. Um. I hear some footsteps, but they're not mine. Where, where are these footsteps coming from? They sound like they're right in front of me. That's kind of creepy. I wonder if I have a sound glitch going on right now. That's so creepy. It, it, it really does sound like there's someone like right next to me, but... I forgot how disturbing this game can be sometimes. A zombie is getting closer. That's, uh, I'm just reading the comms. So, in regards to weapon diversification, it seems to me that the cheapest way to, um, get your bullets is to find your bullets, right? And, um, one of the biggest problems as a, as a stalker in the zone is that you'll find a lot of bullets for guns that you don't use, right? And... You know, the the solution that I had come to assume was like universal, like was the just objective correct answer was disassemble your bullets um, in order to make the ones you need. Right. Sure hope that's not directed at me. I'm going to run away. Um, but I've actually come to a new conclusion. I think that that is um, incorrect. I think that that's something you can do, um, but I don't think that that is um, the best solution. Sorry, I'm just kind of keeping my ears open because I'm getting, getting close to our stash. There's a lot of things going on. There's some of these, you know what? This is the first time we can actually use our surge protector. Oh, that's right. We're actually carrying batteries as well. I, I've brought a lot of stupid stuff with us. I've got all of our equipment maxing out gear, and I'm still fairly over-encumbered. And unfortunately, if I put on 
our, our surge protector, then I will be even more encumbered. Why is our ammo at zero? Did I spend like all of our ammo? Um, let's see here. Well, let's load these magazines. So instead of making bullets, instead of buying bullets, um, the best solution is, you know, obviously picking up bullets, right? And if you could uh, use all of the bullets that you find, then, you know, you would at, be uh, at a surplus. You would, you know, you would be getting more bullets than you're using, hopefully. Hopefully you're not, you know, literally spending every single bullet you find. So that leads me to the conclusion that um, uh, the best case scenario, the best thing you can do as a, as a stalker is have a collection of guns basically that use um that that make use of all of the bullets you find one under our, we're very close tracking device mission updated recover the tracking device We've done it. I really hope I haven't completely destroyed a mission up here because I did have a mission up here. There is still a stash there in that Merc base, but I, I don't seem to be able to collect it. Um, I think I am going to head to... Well, un unfortunately, we're in like the worst positioning here, but I'd like to go back to Freedom Base. Freedom Base is a good, good place to sell some stuff. And... Uh, you know we can we can uh, do stock on on all of our stuff so um you know i've come to the conclusion that i i need to have like one of everything i'm not saying like pistols or anything like that i think there's definitely a line like i do i i'm happy with the pistol we have and i mean like honestly you know go for it maybe like why not have one of every single type of uh gun and be able to use every single type of bullet you know why not i think that that would be um ideal right so um my plan such that it is um is to go through all of the guns that i have all of the ones that i have like kept with the um no, i wouldn't say the intention of repairing but the intention of potentially using like all of the maybes like all of my maybe guns you know look at all of my maybe guns and decide um you know which one do i want and which one is going to represent that bullet type you know uh what what uh, what gun is going to represent our you know uh 762 39 for instance what's going to represent our, our 554 or whatever it is right um and then um you know when it comes to bullets that we don't have guns for yet uh i think that there's a solution there what i'll do is i'm gonna mark uh every single bullet type that we do not have a gun for as junk and then if i find a gun um and i'm not sure if i have uh, if I have a gun that, you know, like represents that ammo type Like basically, uh, you know, if I see a gun and I'm not sure if I need it or not um, One helpful thing is that bandits or you know anyone really uh, When they drop a gun they tend to also drop ammo that that gun uses Just a little bit like even one bullet is enough, right? And I can see um, on that person if that bullet has been marked as junk, right? Because when you mark a bullet as junk, when you mark anything as junk, um, it's universally junk. Like it'll show up as junk on someone else, you know, on, on another body. I think I'm going into this tunnel here. I think that's how we're getting to freedom. Um, and that way I'll, I'll know like, okay, hey, this gun is uh, one that will actually be useful because, um, you know, if I, if I take this and I repair it, uh, then I'll be able to use the bullets that I'm, you know, scraping off this body and all future bodies uh, that, that drop this ammo type. 
so maybe this is like really um overkill it potentially is like insane overkill uh i'm willing to believe that but i'm gonna do it anyway just because i think it's fun um you know i'm i'm, I'm make i'm getting the most out of this game and i'm really enjoying it and um i i think that uh, a good way of like progressing or at least you know figuring things out is to explore and um and experiment with other avenues and you know how can i explore or experiment with other avenues if i don't like you know pick them up try them out you know stuff like that uh like eventually i want to experiment with a exoskeleton so that's why i'm working towards an exoskeleton stuff like that but you know i think our main bottleneck has always been um bullets and i think one of the things like I, i've talked about this before but i i want to eventually oh god oh that's not fair it's literally spawning people on both sides of me Oh my god, look, look at them all. Maybe this is a bad way to come in here. Um, I, I don't want to make bullets anymore. I think it's a waste of time. I, I actually, um, you know, never mind the actual expenses. I, you know, like you can, you can buy bullet parts out of, you know, like really cost effectively. Um, there, bullet parts are much cheaper than actual bullets. And that's, fine um but i i do think that the animations for yeah this is this is probably really dumb oh my god there's three of them over here you threw a grenade no i don't want to move it oh my god i don't want to move to dead city This is, this is really unreasonable. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save uh, against every single instinct. do another quick save and i'm gonna heal um yeah unfortunately my head got banged up here so i'm gonna have to heal our head and i'll use our um i'm gonna i'm gonna use up our, our salawa uh, i need to do more surgery on our head don't worry this will be fine it, actually, this is like, you know, this this uh, gives us experience doing this. I need a bandage. Oh, am I out of actual bandages? Good God. Salawa is very good heal. And it pretty much brings us back to 100%. Let's do a reload and then fill our magazines. I have no doubt there's mo oh never mind let's not fill our magazines we're actually out of ammo I can't believe it I actually blew through all of that ammo that I had for this gun I had a good time with it it's a really good gun and of course there's going to be more stuff on these bodies um, yeah these are mercenaries and so there's going to be even more stuff on them Oh, lockpicks. That's actually really nice. And now I am officially over encumbered. Uh, I did pick up that M4A1. Sorry, 
M16. My my again my my uh, gun knowledge is very much lacking. I'm gonna do a pause here and uh, I'll try and get through some of this inventory management. Okay, I've uh, stripped most of the bodies of uh, anything useful and I've disassembled a few of the guns I picked up. We gotta make ourselves. Uh, we we gotta make our way southeast. What are those? Free stalkers. Oh, those are those are friendlies. I, I love this new um, our new map is very helpful. Um, so I'm gonna head southeast, dead south from here, because I really don't want to bump into whatever the heck is making all that noise. So let's head dead south from here towards those free stalker friends. Maybe we can uh, have them join us. Free stalker friends tend to want to join me, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll head back. I've kept one AUG. I like AUGs. I, I think they're fun. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Oof. I don't know what that, I guess just another anomaly. So there's uh, been some interesting news. Um, a couple of things have happened since the last time I recorded, but I mean, this is going to date the episodes and you know, uh, I don't, none of this is very uh, relevant anymore for those who are interested in Stalker. But I guess, like, you know, the chances of anyone finding this episode right after I put it up on YouTube is not very high. Um, but they're, they're, a Stalker board game just got announced, which I, I'm uh, a pretty big board game fan. I tend to, I, I tend to play a lot of board games, so I'm actually very interested in, um, I don't think I want to be here. I think I want to avoid this town if I can. Uh, I'm actually very interested in the idea of a board game. Now, I will say I'm not hugely a fan of the kind of board game that looks like they're... What is happening here? Oh, what is this? Article unlocked anomalies radar. God, we're just learning all kinds of new things today, aren't we? I'm assuming if I walk into that, I just die. <laughs> There's no maybes about it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of modular dungeon tile board games. I'm not a huge fan of the whole like Gloomhaven fan uh, uh, fad. I'm not a huge fan of uh, board, board games with a lot of miniatures. I'm not a huge miniature fanboy. Um, any work you want done? Reverse bounty hunt. and uh, Monolith? Sure. In Lemansk? Oh, I shouldn't have taken that, actually. Um, got anything to sell? No. Any of you want to join me? Any work you want done? No. Oh, look at this guy. That is quite the gear he's got. These uh, radar anomalies are really interesting. Still, I'm still trying to head southeast. Hopefully I don't get killed by whatever these anomalies are. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the kind of board game this newly announced soccer one is. Um, that being said, I am interested in some of the features and mechanics that they are talking about. Like, I like the idea of, um, like, a sandbox kind of game with almost uh, Tarkov-esque mechanics of, like, extraction mechanics you know like extraction stuff where you like you venture out into a dangerous area and you try and get some stuff and then come back and and uh you know build yourself up slowly and carefully and then maybe take on uh bigger dangers that's kind of cool to me i like that um but my problem with a any game that includes a ridiculous number of miniatures is you just slap another two hundred dollars on that uh you know price sticker um it's it's just never been something i'm a huge fan of like i i like you know i i'm not gonna um talk down on anyone who like makes miniatures obviously it's a it's an art um oh god oh that sucked but like it 
for me it doesn't necessarily add a lot to the experience of the game but it does add a lot to the price of the game so um not a huge not a huge fan um let's i guess i'm gonna use some of my car it's okay we kind of need to you might wonder why i'm not fast traveling it's because we're over encumbered and as much as i have cheated a little bit in this series i'm not i, I really want to keep pretty much everything on us and uh i haven't seen too much of this area so i i made the decision to make the long trip and i'm glad i did because i saw some new stuff so and i guess we got to collect some new stuff as well um something i really appreciated that the um if you're not a uh like big into board games you'll have to forgive me for even talking about them but uh one of my favorite deck building games of all time was ascension and um the developers of ascension did a tactics game and of course the tactics game came with miniatures and uh, too much much to my you know egregious eye rolling <laughs> um but something i really appreciated that they did was they offered a more affordable ver okay a more affordable uh version of the game um, by basically stripping out the miniatures, offering a, uh, a copy of the game with stripped out miniatures and instead offered like cheap little like stand-ups. Um, now, you know, that's obviously not going to appeal to everyone. That's fine. I think it's great. I think that's fantastic because it means that, you know, it makes the game accessible to, to people who cannot really afford to spend a, a ton of money on miniatures um so i i was very excited about that in fact i'm i'm picking up a copy of ascension tactics pretty soon um and they they've they've got their and this is not a sponsored <laughs> recording from ascension tactics but they're doing their kickstarter for inferno like the next version of it so um i am interested in that i'm probably not going to pick it up i like to pick up board games like when they're no longer relevant because then they're cheaper and i can actually afford them because otherwise board games can are just like ridiculously expensive especially if you have more than one you know <laughs> but yeah i i am interested in the stalker board game it'd be kind of kind of neat to, to take a look at it but good lord i can only imagine it's probably going to be about 300 dollars and never that's before shipping and tax and all that crazy stuff and then there's uh um what do you call it when it crosses the border uh but yeah like canada we get we get really uh screwed when it comes to buying anything from the states or anywhere else um duty that's it uh i'll still have a look though I, I did uh, I did buy in on the, the Uwe Rosenberg game, which I, exactly two people on you know who watch me will probably even know who that is. But I guess it's not Uwe; it's Uwe. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but they're I think they're German. They're uh, very famous for making um, a lot of board games where about farming. <laughs> they're they're the like very. Uh, iconic euro um board game dev developer and they did a um a new board game i was like yep you know what i want to jump on that it was about building a bridge it's about bridge building so uh, very exciting stuff i'm sure uh i have an encrypted pda it doesn't seem to respond can you work it out for me um 500 rubles sure oh is it I think that's DMCA-able music right there. I don't know if I should be listening to that. Um, I may have some information to sell. I found a PDA here. 2300 Well, that's a profit. Uh, any work you want me, me to do? Artifact? Dark Valley? Fact, factory backyard? Nah. Any other work? Equip? Location in on, in on the outskirts of Pripyat, northwest of the Volcano Anomaly. As a promising squad and their equipment is quite good, don't you want to test your strength and weaken our enemies? Not really. 
But hey, we're getting missions that are like quite close to Pripyat. Um, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Growl Small Arms Report Volume 2. When did I pick that up? Probably recently. Probably in the last episode. There's a lot of things happening in the last episode. And I couldn't really stop to make a note of everything. Um, so here's the portion of the episode where I, uh, again, have to do a bunch of inventory management. I'll probably do a pause. What do you mean I can sell this? How much would, would you give me for that? Oh, 3600 3, That's not bad. My gut reaction whenever I can sell something is I should probably keep it. But hey, I'll sell these pistols. I'm totally cool with that. Glock 17 Gen 4. Didn't I want to keep that for some reason? This is damage 30. And then the Glock um, Gen 4 is also damage 30. I don't know what the difference is. I'm really not sure how, like, you know, how you can... I'm meant to compare certain guns in this game. But hey, we made a little bit of money here. Um, I'm at... Is that 213,000? I'm at over 200,000 rubles? Good lord, I didn't realize I was that flush. My god. Yo, my thoughts are exactly, dude. Um, I, I really hope he didn't say something that I should not be agreeing with, actually. <laughs> oh god, that noise. I was uh, just about to say, you know, like... Um, like... This is probably going to piss someone off, but I don't care, honestly. Um, I think that it would be easy for someone to compare this game to something like Fallout. Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas, or anything like that. I haven't played too many of the Fallout games, and at least I haven't played too far into them. I always hit a wall where my interest for them just completely drops off. Especially for... I think 4 was the most efficiently I've ever dropped off of a game. I think I played all of like 6 hours of that game before I, I just gave up on it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the setting, the mechanics, the people, the stories. I don't know if I said the stories. The stories again. I don't know. Like... I, I'm sh I know that uh, 4 has both its apologists and its haters. And I'm not here to, uh, you know, like, echo anyone's, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, like, I, I, I don't want to even get into this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on it or anything. It just didn't, didn't resonate with me at all. Um, and I don't know why this has, to be honest. Like, in a lot of ways, this, this stalker game has so many of the typical mechanics that usually drive me up the bend and and really put me off but for some reason it's just kind of got its hooks in me and i i love the setting it just doesn't feel like a typical apocalypse it feels a little bit more interesting it almost like it's it's almost like an ironic apocalypse you know rodent meat um uh, radio protectant bear oh yeah that's a freaking crazy Oh, you're offering me a locked case mission where I go to Darkscape. I don't really like any of that. Um, what will you buy? Will you buy my mutant parts? You will buy my mutant parts. I'm going to sell... Actually, I can't remember if this controller brain is good for anything. I think it probably is. Um, but, like, everything is useful. So, now, here, here's what I'm talking about. Is like, all of these... All of these bullets, I could sell them. But, like, I feel like, well, 918 um, is pretty much pistol ammo, but, like, the 762, I should be keeping the 720, whatever, 6225, 545, 39, I should be keeping that. We'll sell the rest. Um, I don't need anything else. But, like, uh, you know, I am getting, the, definitely, like, I want to make some money, but... Uh, I, I, you know, I'm getting to the point where I, I think I should start thinking about um, the other major types of ammunition. Can we make use of those? And I probably have guns that do make use of them. And I probably do have the parts um, that will allow me to repair them. So, like, why not? Why not do that? 
because then like look at all of this ammunition we could be making use of of course this is all five uh, 556 45 i know i can make use of the 556 45 so not really um applicable you know what i am going to do actually is i am going to take a moment to um empty all those magazines and then sell a lot of those magazines so i'll be right back all right um so that's that's all of my magazines sold i just want to have a look at this real quick okay this is the information on how to make 918 uh and then this is studied this before this is information on how to make a improved surge protector okay um well we have some notebooks this is information to sell i should probably head back to the farm i still have more mutant parts i've noticed that i should sell let's just see if i can't get rid of some of that it's all dead weight pretty much we got lurker tail lurker eye pseudo dog fang chimera horn we want to keep chimera claw we want to keep cat claw we can sell um burr skin this offers one plus one percent psychic resistance plus three three kilograms of carried weight that's actually really good that's like better than our chimera hide but our chimera, uh, chimera hide offers stamina recovery and all kinds of nice stuff so that's why i use that i'm gonna go ahead and sell the um burr hide um if i want um psychic resistance i think the th best thing is still our psy sucker well, that's not that good, actually. I'm not sure what we were using. What were we using? Certainly not the Psy Dog. We have Pseudo Dog Fur. Mills will sell that. Lurker Hide. I can sell that. Flesh Hide. Definitely sell that. Is it still... I guess maybe I had the Controller Scalp. I don't... I hope I didn't sell that. Because, uh... Unless it's... Am I wearing it? Chimera Hide. Pseudo Giant Hide. Looks like I'm not wearing it. I wonder if I didn't bring it with me. Oh, hey, we al we also have this uh, decorated jewelry box. Um, and ex improvised explosive device. Lots of uh, explosive devices. We've got tons of explosive devices. We could sell these monolith prayers. May as well. Notebook. Um, a little. I'm always a little bit wary about selling those. Personal journal. Uh, I'll keep the notebook. I don't think it uh, is all that heavy. All right. Um, oh, and we got to make sure. I, unfortunately, marking things as junk as any means of like um, distinguishing them means that we'll have to uh, make sure we don't accidentally sell them, which means I probably will accidentally sell them at some point. I was I am thinking maybe I want to use this multi uh, buy this multi fuel stove because it seems to me that it, it is like infinity uses. Let's sell all this stuff. I'm not sure what the what the deal is here. It says it, all flammables are usable. I think this is one of those things that we... Um, it only takes up 0 0.3 kilograms. I do wonder if this is something... If this is a cooking device that can just be, like, used ad infinitum. That would be kind of amazing. Article unlocked items. Multi-fuel stove. Well, we may as well have a look at that. Have a quick look. Uh, guide. The stove has been tested extensively over many years and has been used on countless expeditions. It is extremely robust, reliable, and powerful, and was designed to handle demanding situations, extreme altitudes, and both low and high temperatures. It is very high output and can be used with virtually any kind of fuel, including butane, gasoline, petrol, diesel, kerosene, paraffin even aviation fuel using the separate control knob you can adjust the flame to the heat you want even if you are wearing gloves since fuels used in the multi-fuel stove are much more effective efficient energy carriers than the wood or coal the multi-fuel stove is in the long run significantly more cost effective than traditional wood or coal stoves on the other hand these fuels are usually carried in heavy metal containers which makes them more suited for use at bases um, rather than in field operations. Mutant meat that does not require high temperatures to be prepared is referred to as low tier, whereas meat that requires high temperatures is high tier. Unlimited uses. Unlimited usage. Multi-fuel stove can cook all types of meat. Usable fuel is everything. Well, it seems to me I've just saved some money. Because I can probably sell this uh, army kettle. Like I, It's got plenty of uses left on it. 
Yeah, we, we totally can. Again, I have to make sure I'm not accidentally selling that ammo. Um, good, good, good. Things are progressing slowly, but, you know, all the same forward. Can you lend me some money? Uh, so now let's have a look. Uh, there's still a stash. Let's go check that out. That's west. Uh, how do I get out of here? Right. Uh, I, I, for, I forgot. This place is really annoying about leaving it, isn't it? Oh, no, it's fine. Maybe? Nah, yeah, it is. So, if I want to get to that stash, I'm going to have to leave through the front. And then... Uh, Alright, well, you know what? I'll do a pause. <laughs> you know, I hear gunshots in the direction that I have to go to. That's good. Ooh, that's a different kind of gun. I don't think I've heard that one before. Well, that's a baddie over there. Way over there. Let's hope I don't have to go... I mean, it really doesn't matter. I, I would, you know, put them down. I'm at the point where, like, honestly... I don't even think we need an exoskeleton. I just want one, you know? Like, that's really all it is. Oh, Okay. That's, uh, that actually scared me a little bit. Pretty sure, um, that's a mutant. Ran, running into a, uh, anomaly by accident. Okay, let's do a quick save. Not a good place to do one, but I'd rather do one than not. Because this, this seems like a disaster. You know what? This is a great time to actually use our, um, our new scanner. Because, first of all... Pretty sure there is a... Artifact here? There is an artifact here. I'm, I'm gonna guess that this is not a good one for us. Radiation plus eight. Uh, it's a cocoon. I'm gonna drop it. Oh, wait, radiation resistance. Sorry, not radiation. Radiation resistance. It's only good. So I almost dropped a really decent artifact. But yeah, this, um, this is one of the reasons this, um, Oh god! Oh god! Well, I will say I'm, I'm not doing a good job about it either way. <laughs> oh, that, that sucked. I need more bandages. I, I, I have almost said a full sentence like three times. One of the reasons is, uh, um... Artifact detector is so good is it shows you where the anomalies are. Although, you know, you still have to be good at avoiding them. Oh, man. Now I have to go bandage yourselves up a bit. I think I only had the one bandage. You know what, we'll probably, um, let's just go ahead and use our, uh, serve. Some really nasty things going on right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel to the farm. I know. I know. Um, but, you know, like, what can I do, right? What, what am I meant to do? Uh, we, I need to make a plan. I need to figure out what our next, um, like, thing is. That is a friendly. Um, like, what is our major, next major mission? Disable the brain scorcher. I mean, that sounds dicey. I won't lie. Reverse bounty hunt. Um, meet with Loki. Loki and Yanov. Yanov Station is my next destination.
I'm like, is that a stalker I am meant to kill? No, it's not the the master. But you know, good to know. I I don't want to go to. I don't want to disable. Like, if if the lab that I went to is any, um, any indication, I really don't want to go to another one. Can't sleep with my ass glowing. Oh, or we're um, radiated. Oh, you know what? Um, we could equip our new artifact, our cocoon. So, well, why are we like super radiated now? Hmm. Seems to me that was not great. Is that another baddie? Nope, that's a good guy. All right, let's let's go ahead and take some um, anti rads. We take some radio protectant, uh, or this. You know, oh God, there's a there's a or a mutant heading our way. Yep. Good old pistol. Perfect for the for these kind of things. We could try out our new um uh oh. Okay. Just god damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna need new armor after this. Our our armor is like Taking some really bad hits. What I was gonna say is we could use our new um, cooker. No, we can't. Never mind. I don't have any fuel. <laughs> Quite the episode. I'm I'm cooking up here. Nothing useful here. And say that again. I gotta I gotta shed some radiation, and then I can head to. I'm gonna head to the the lab, so that I can um, hand in that quest. And then what? I don't know. I don't know what next. I really just need to like prepare for the next like major story mission. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking for my, well, let's just take a swig. That's one of the best ways to get rid of our, our radiation. Wow. We're like super radiated. I, I like, is this cocoon actually not good for us? It seems like it's not helping. Um, gonna have to consider drinking some alcohol at this point. Let's see here. Uh, radiation resistance. I need something that'll get rid of the radiation, not just resist it. Oh, God. Um, honestly, I think it's just gonna be drink some water. Oh yeah, we're, we're good. We're, we're fine. All right, let's head to the uh, the Ecos. Okay. Let's hand in this quest and then I'm probably gonna head back to the farm. Although um, I might wanna head to the bar. I don't know, I I have a bunch of stuff I need to drop off. But I also want to buy <laughs> an exoskeleton, but that's gonna be so heavy. Yo, I'm a I'm a rob your radio. I I I did it. I robbed their radio. You can't tell me. Excuse me. Okay. Fun. Hey, dude. Dude, come here. All right. A few minutes ago, I saw an egghead shooting at a snork in Yantar. All right, you only got you only have four thousand rubles for me, huh? Any work you want done? Dog hearts, classified information in the wild territory. Sure. Um, apparently, I think that the um, classified 
coordinates or whatever classified information quests are kind of bugged because if you have classified information from something else they they'll they'll accept it um but I, who am i to complain i'm still collecting classified information so whatever um burr hand more stuff location well territory mm, pass on that for now i, I i've spent enough time in the uh, wild territory i don't i don't need to i i don't know where i want to get try and get this um exoskeleton it could be anywhere you know um so we got chemical recipe one just making sure that we have all these yes we do fire recipe one and gravity recipe one i'm pretty sure we have all of those um, i'm going to be periodically checking to make sure that the they don't this guy isn't selling any others that i don't have um kind of want to yeah, that Salawa is actually a really good price. Four grand for that is, is really decent. It's nice to have those. They have a bodysuit. These are really good for um, environmental, but um, like not so much for ballistics, obviously. And then this guard jumpsuit is like more or less the same story, but it's got a little bit of uh, protection. I have an auto dock module. I already have one of those and I'm not sure what I should be doing with it. Let's sell some stuff. Pseudo dog fang. Um, you don't have any fuel. Oh yeah, I, I seem to recall I was running into a problem where no one would sell me any fuel ever. Super fun. All right, so now that we've handed in that piddly quest and a couple of other quests, there is a stash. This is in the wild territory. Uh, I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go to the bar and see if we can't buy an exoskeleton suit. Not sure what we need for that. Like, the whole thing is, is kind of complicated, and I'm going to have to, like, do a lot of experimenting. And like I said, the you know, um, on certain topics for this game, it's it's kind of like the documentation is, is not good. Like, it's, I'm not sure what I need, like, what I need to maintain, what I need to um, collect, you know, what, what does an exoskeleton even need? Um, you know, if I want to power it, do I have to, you know, like, it, there's a lot of questions that I don't have answers for. So, um, I'm going to have to figure that out. What I might do is actually do a save. I, I might do a, a save and then go to my farm and see what I have. Um, and then load and collect what I, what I don't have. We are in the nighttime. And there's a lot of gunfire going on. And my dude is hungry. Lots of things are happening right now. I could still... Well, I, I guess I'm okay for food. My dude is tired, though. He could do some rest. Um, I keep going in my in inventory. Honestly, it's just because I'm like trying to like catch up with what I have. I have more of these freaking decorated jewelry boxes, huh? Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? I, I should have been doing is um, buying like parts for disassembling, like radios and stuff. I, I I've kind of lost the habit. It's fine. I'll get back into some of these habits. I, there's only like a couple of things I can I, I need to craft in the tech tree. I have the best artifact, like locator, or what do you want? Whatever you want to call it. But I don't have the best PDA. Maybe I do have the best PDA. Can't remember now. No, it's only two version two. There's a version three. I don't know if it's that much better. It's rooted. Whatever that means. But then there's like all kinds of other things I want to craft. My dude, you are like... Can you come over here so I can actually talk to you? Thank you. 
I couldn't complete the job. Is there any work you want done? Uh, retrieve the encrypted documents in location army warehouses. Sure. Uh, any other work you want done? Destroy the mutants in Rostock. Sure. Uh, any work you want done? Kill a stalker, target mer military. No. Tushkano head? Isn't that a rat? Okay. Now, I need a couple things. Do I need this mil spec exoskeleton power supply? Probably. The problem is, is actually if I go with my plan of saving and then coming back, is I'm pretty sure loading will shuffle his um his store like he will no longer be selling that anymore which is a kind of an annoying aspect of this game oh yo pack of old meat for three grand is actually a steal um you do have some fuel so i'll definitely buy that so now what do we have here exoskeleton there it is it's got great ballistic resistance um nomad stalker suit voyager stalker suit and then we have what sunrise exo exoskeleton not nearly as good we have an exo helm i'm pretty sure i already bought the exo helm and put it in my box so i don't think i need that so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to save i'm going to do an actual save um, buying exo suit and what we'll do is we'll do it this way is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and buy the suit and uh, and then we're gonna go back to the, my farm and um, if I didn't need it then it's it's all good then I'll load so it's, it's totally fine um I was gonna buy that snossage. Buy that snossage, yo, and those bandages. And why not that anti-radiation drug? Could do, could be good too. And um, some bread loaves. This guy's prices are actually not bad. Um, military technological item increases power capacity by two hundred percent. I honestly, if I don't need this, I um, I don't mind like just having an extra one. And I know I have some batteries, but I probably should could do with some more. I have two batteries. I, I kind of shudder to think of how much um, weight this is all going to be. And I'll buy one of those. So that's 160,000 worth of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. That is That is a lot of money. But here we go. I've done it. And now our weight is like ridiculous right now. Um, the good news is that maybe I can... Does this offer me more weight? Weight carried plus 64 kilograms. It sure does. But wait, what does this offer me? Weight carried plus 10 kilograms. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a, a marked improvement, as they say. So let's go ahead and wear our exoskeleton. Battery war uh, warning battery low. Um, so now do I have to put this power supply on the exosuit? Looks like we do. And then military battery unit. Throw it on there. Looks like that's it. Our power level is one of 300. Yo, my dude, you are very loud. So, what I'm hearing is that I can put three batteries on here. Okay, we have put three batteries on there. Now, wow, we can put more batteries on there? I guess not all of them were like at full percent. So, it's still not quite at full percent. Um, but, hey, we have an exoskeleton, and it looks like I did pretty much everything right. Um, I did need all of those things. 
Oh, you know what sucks though is I'm gonna have to upgrade it. It doesn't have any belt slots right now, and the belt slots help a lot. But we have a max um, carry capacity right now of 202, which is just absurd. It's just like fantastic. Um, so what next? I don't know. Uh, that's a that's a really good like that's a really high note to leave things on. Um, I think so. I am gonna head to the farm. We're not even encumbered right now. Oh god, am I? Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna be hearing that sound forever. Oh god. Oh, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's that's really bad. <laughs> no, I've become everything I hate. No. <laughs> no, dude. Oh god, that sucks so much. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy these other two batteries. I I can tell already. I'm I'm probably gonna need them. Oh my god. Um, and that's the, added quite a bit of extra weight. Oh, you know what? We can sell these uh, jewelry boxes. That's a nice chunk of money back. And those things actually weigh quite a bit, right? Yeah, that's like three kilograms right there. So um. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to head to the farm and I'm going to sort through a bunch of my stuff. And I think after that, I might do like one episode of like cleanup. There's a bunch of stuff to do. I don't know. Maybe I mean, we'll take on the military. I, I, I don't know. Um, but after that, I might consider pushing north and uh, trying to do some of the major story missions. If this exosuit is actually worth its weight, you know, uh, after all of that work, um, I have to assume it is worthwhile. Um, but yeah, after that, like, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's see what, let's, let's put it up to the test, you know, let's see what we're capable of. And, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. If you're enjoying this episode, definitely, or if, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.